how can you test male fertility? How is it possible to see if this, if, if the sample that you're producing is of good quality or bad quality? Because you can't even, you can't, you can't see with your eye if it's a good quality. Um, all, most of the sperm samples, they kind of look alike, uh, but you need to see if there are sperm actually swimming there. You need to have a sperm quality analysis that is done either in the laboratory or it could also be done at home. I can show you later. And um, what to look for here. You know, the WHO has done some uh, research, of course, and they have uh, put in some lower references uh, to what uh, parameters you should look after. When you measure sperm quality, you look at the sperm uh, the, the semen volume, so how much you produce, uh, also the concentration of sperm cells, so how many sperm cells do we have in the semen, um, the semen that you have produced, and you also really important to look for the uh, the progress of motility, and that's the uh, the movement of the sperm cells. As you remember, we need the sperm cells to move up um, and meet with the egg. Uh, in the fallopian tube, so they need to swim fast and in the good direction, not around themselves. And we also need the sperm cells to look uh, properly with one head and one tail, and uh, therefore we also look at the morphology, that's the form of the sperm cells. And these parameters are set by the WHO, so a man uh, needs to have more than 1.5 milliliter of uh, semen volume, uh, at least 50 million sperm uh, cells in uh, per milliliter, and the uh, the motility, the movement should be more than 32 percent, and they need to have the right shape, more uh, than uh, no more than um, four percent. But does it really matter? Yes, of course it matters because the better the sperm quality, the better chances you have of getting pregnant. Uh, the more sperm cells you have surrounding the egg, the better the chance that one of them will enter the egg and uh, cause pregnancy. So of course it matters. And you see here that, especially here, uh, this shows that this is the concentration of motile sperm cells and this is the the probability, the, the chance of pregnancy. Uh, so the higher, uh, the, the, the more uh, motile sperm cells you have, the higher chance of pregnancy. Um, so of course it matters and the male is really important. How do we do a semen analysis? Well, you can go to your doctor, uh, ask for a, a, a semen analysis. He will, uh, he will maybe refer you to a laboratory uh, or a fertility clinic. Here you will have to ejaculate in a collection cup. Afterwards, you would, uh, the, the volume uh, needs to be uh, evaluated if you produce one or two or five milliliters. Uh, then in the laboratory, they uh, place the sample under a microscope and they visually see how many sperm cells uh, and how they're moving and uh, how their shape is. So, so this is done. This how is done in the in the laboratory. But there are also home sperm tests, uh, and they give you the possibility to do it at home without going into the clinic. Uh, and it can be easy done whenever you want, wherever you want. Um, and I will show you here the Exceed sperm test. It's a kit with a device and collection cup and some uh, glass slides. You'll have to prepare yourself uh, and produce a sample at home um, by ejaculation. And you will let it uh, transfer the sample into the glass light afterward, uh, put the glass light into the device and record a video of the sperm cells. You would actually be able to visualize it. Um, and within a few minutes, you will have the sperm results. That tells you how many moving sperm cells you have in your ejaculate. Uh, it's the same as semen quality. This can be done easily at home with Exceed, uh, a really simple procedure. And also through the Exceed app, uh, the Exceed app uh, you will be guided to how 
you can improve your sperm quality. This is how the, you can visualize the sperm, but also you have your own personal guide uh, on how to improve sperm with lifestyle changes. And this is based on scientific papers, um, what makes the most powerful impact on your journey and your quality. Furthermore, you will also uh, have the help of fertility specialists. You can create your fertility report. You can also see how, if there are fertility clinics near you and you can connect to those. So it's pretty simple to test and improve and also get help from home uh, with Exceed. If you want to go for a sperm test at home, what to look for? It's really important that when you pick a sperm test, uh, that you look for that it has, that it measures both sperm count, so the concentration, and also the motility. This is really crucial. Without these two parameters, uh, you can't uh, know if, if you have uh, enough moving sperm cells to impregnate a woman. Uh, you also need to be aware of the accuracy. It has to be high accuracy uh, because you want to trust the test and, uh, and not go get false results. You also want to check your swimmers. You want to check and, and test sperm quality over time. Uh, you want to do that uh, maybe two times uh, within seven days uh, just to be sure where the baseline quality is. Um, it is important that uh, you test within a couple of months because there is a natural variation in sperm quality over time. So just because you have a low sperm quality today, maybe in, in two, three months, it could be much more improved because sperm quality is affected by many factors and also lifestyle factors. And I will get back to that later. You will also have to look for a test, a home sperm test that has the WHO reference as a guideline because it, it, it's not good if it has another uh, reference. We need to go by the WHO uh, and have these references for sperm volume, concentration and motility. And the XC test um, goes by the rules and have uh, the WHO as references, it fulfills actually all these um, uh, check marks and with the exceed kit you will have the possibility to test five times because the, the kit uh, contains enough um, remedies for five tests. So that's really good. <laughs> 